Hi there and welcome to the panel shows It's All Art. My name's Kiara Gizzi and I'm so excited to be here with the stunning Marty oh, Dinglewall. Incredible. Chiara, not Chiara. Not Chiara. Chiara Gizzi. Please don't call me Chiara ever. Or that anything small. else really. <laughs> <laughs> Marty is an incredible actor, well known for his roles in Underbelly, Home and Away, uh, Cops, LAC. The, the ill-fated Cops, the LAC. The ill-fated. <laughs> Nothing to do with you, of course. <laughs> So tell us about this new show, Cypher. Okay, Cypher is a seven part series. What makes it uh, unique in its, you know, political component mm. is that it was uh, entirely um, pre-financed by an offshore company, um, which means, you know- More of that, please. A little bit more of that. <laughs> which means it didn't have to find its bedfellow. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, pre-shooting. Mm. Um, so the director and, you know, the various departments, powers of B, could do whatever they wanted yeah. um, as as per, you know, th the size of their vision. Mm. Um, and we shot that over, um, well, start, stop, start and stop over a, about a year and a half period, I'd say. Mm. Um, and it's now complete and the uh, trailer's just there. And it looks amazing. Yes, yeah, credit to everyone involved. It does look incredible. And it's equally... Um, <laughs> And it's an equally incredible story, you know, yeah. when they sent it through to me after I'd booked the, the lead. They said, right, now read everything. And in fact, the audition piece was um, a, uh, a father talking to his 12-year-old daughter about why um, he couldn't live with her anymore because the courts had made this decision and it makes sense. And, bla and it's a very heartfelt scene. Wow. And for something that arrives as a... Uh, you can get a scope that it's, uh, you know, shoot them up sort of thing. It's like, oh, this is, a this is just about family. Yeah, definitely. Um, and, you know, so that was, one was, you know, a physical scene and the other one was, you know, heart. So, yeah, won the part. Then they um, sent me the uh, eight-part script at the time and it was just, wow. That was a really long wow. So, obviously, it's a very good script that you were saying that. Well, it, you, you know, you get excited because you know there's, uh, you know, certain genres. Mm. This is going to be, you know, government conspiracy solving crimes yeah. in, in that bubble of uh, viewership. Yeah. And those tend to follow the, um, yeah. uh, the formula yeah. thing, which yeah. is, you know, you're going to solve each thing each week. Yeah. And look, it's not my, not my favourite brand mm. of television. It's mm. not what I watch. Mm. There is character driven. Anyway, so they sent me the, um, the thing. And by the end of it, I, I wrote to the um, director and said, I um, actually can't work out if this is story driven or character driven, which is really weird. And he said, no, you're not supposed to know. I'm like, oh, hmm. okay. So it's not like it wasn't, it was, it's intentionally ambiguous. He said, I, I think you can, um, I think you can develop real character inside of hard edge stories. Um, and they, he did get every episode to like, Series uh, episode three, um, and just do you think? Do you think that the reason that part of the reason he was able to do that is in set in in terms of that formula because he had creative control? Yeah, he didn't have to abide by the checkbox list of a particular network or a particular blueprint, which we know makes money. Well, yeah, well, it, it was obviously, not obviously, but it was so clearly that, but also this is, um, you know, when you when you get artists at his level of, of output mm. and um, actuality, meaning like he's got five, six hit shows, right? So he's... What's the director's name? He's that. Majdi Smiri. He's Tunisian-born, Cairo-based, uh, very, uh, very regarded director. And this series, Cypher, is his first series in English, shot in Los Angeles. Um, now, to give that the gloss, is that when you're going to go into government conspiratorial mm. issues, mm. it's so deep. Yeah. And immediately so, whether it be... It's so deep. <laughs> and, um, you know, usually because of you know, just the politics of corporate yeah. financing, there, there's, a, there's a framework. This mm -hmm. is the scaffolding and this is where the story can be told. Yep. And this wasn't that. This was like, let's, and I just and keep going, exciting. oh my that's God. That's so exciting. I find that like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I just want to bite into it because yeah. it's like, that is, that's the kind of stories we want to be telling, right? Well, well like, that's right. And, you know, you, you don't want to, you don't want to beat your head, uh, your audience over the head with, conspiracy no. and become preachy but if you can do it in such a way which is what compelled me so much mm. I'm like how have you subtly woven that in and we've learned this about this character and you've gotten us to oh god what's gonna happen 
And it's, I did that yeah, in the trailer. It, it was masterful <laughs> writing for me. And yeah. it's like, so we're going to just get to shoot this without anyone, uh, you know. And when you have your second meeting with the director, I got to know him. Well, I got to see him talk about it and his calm ownership around it. It's just like, oh, this is, he's going to get that there. Because that's always the discussion, you know, can, is what you see and feel as you read it versus what gets there and that's governed by resources, you know, and budget, right. etc. Is it going to, and it, my God, my God. So, yes, it's very exciting for me and just like... It's exciting for the industry, you know. Yeah, and, yeah, and great, I'm thanks. getting into producing myself and I'm working on a six-part miniseries myself at the moment. So, um, and it's also privately funded. So, um, it's very exciting because... Are we talking about that? Yeah, yeah, we can talk about yeah. that, but I d I'm not going to give any names or anything like that okay. at this point. But, um, you know, it, it, I'm very passionate about the industry starting to revolutionise itself in a sense of looking outside of the current means of financing or the current model of business in terms of the Australian film industry. Um, because I think there's a lot to learn there for us. So it's pretty exciting to hear that other people are doing it as well. And yeah, even though it's an international project, it's still exciting for us Aussies to kind of hear about it. Yeah, look, we've got to tread a little bit carefully, I guess, regards, um, you know, a, a local conversation because it's all about local content. But when all said and done, I think we're, you know, we can all collectively nod at the fact that we're a sport following nation. And if you're going to be producing content here, you just got to make sure it speaks and can trade internationally. Absolutely. You just got to do that now. Absolutely. And and there's nothing wrong with that, you know. There's, it shouldn't there's, there's, there it shouldn't be. be. Yeah, there shouldn't be anything wrong with that. So, but you know, it's it's interesting to hear that, you know, the the types of models that are being created can be, you know, can be shared and I think that's what it's all about is collectively we kind of when we come together and this was a big theme yesterday when uh, we were at the Sanctuary International Film Festival was the collaboration mindset and us working together and pulling resources and pulling intelligence and right. creativity and coming up with something interesting. Um, so outside of acting and writing and producing, Ooh. what Ooh. else are you... Off the track we venture. <laughs> <laughs> what else are you passionate about? What else lights you up? <sighs> Primary passion really is, is, my, is, my, well, is my son, you know, um, my little boy Lakota. And we're up here in Corumbin because this is now where we're based, where he's going to be going to school and, you know, developing his life memories and his friends. And um, daddy flies out for work. Hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, he gets raised up here in, um, I believe, what has been uh, recently regarded as one of the happiest towns in Australia. <laughs> Well, I grew up on the Gold Coast. And well, I you're the local. I'm the, I'm the yeah, newbie here. I can say you guys are all locals. It, it is a genuinely wonderful place. Oh, it's, it's heaven. Very cool to be back here. And it's so weird because we met in Sydney and now we're here talking. Look, we've got to backtrack on that just for a second. Yeah. We, tell, tell that story. Yeah, so Marty and I met about seven years ago, seven yeah, or eight years yeah. ago. And I was very fresh to the industry, very fresh. I think I'd only just done one bit part on Underbelly at that point. And um, somehow you met Rosie, my old flatmate. And Rosie. yeah, hi Rosie, if you watch this. <laughs> um, and she helped you with the self-test and then she couldn't help with the second one. And she said to me, can you help? Marty, he needs to redo it. And at my house in Coogee, shooting this bloke, against a white wall for a, for a, a, a self-tape that was going over to LA. Which just must be how friendships all begin in, uh, this, in this industry. Yeah, and it was just like... like oh, yeah, self-test, my living room. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, thank yeah, you. yeah, that's it. <laughs> and then like six years, seven years later, how many years later, we're here reconnecting to... God, love social media. I know. It's like, oh, the panel show. Kiara. <laughs> yeah, 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 which brings us to Corumban. And now we're in Corumban. Yeah. The world is a small place. Oh, and listen, man. Air quality, oh, oceans. And, you know, if you feel lucky enough to be a parent, it's just like, it is, it's such a genuine utopia up here in the Northern yeah, Rivers. Yeah. Very uncomplicated, very fluid, just breathtaking. I hadn't driven the road from Sydney up to past Byron to the Northern Rivers ever. Um, and I'm just like, what kind of paradise is this? <laughs> oh. Where am I? Yeah, yeah. And motorbikes, you said before that you're Yeah, back look, we, um, if you're going to be doing any time in America at all, I mean, so of all the things we love America for, 
um, in the era of 45. Um, the thing America does better than anyone else in the world is highways. And um, if you're based in LA, I've got this little group, little riding crew, Sons of Gratitude. You can do the hashtag on, on Instagram. <laughs> Piss take, because a friend of ours set up a thing called Cafe Gratitude and there's Sons of Gratitude. <laughs> I energy. actually love it yeah, so much. Sons of Gratitude, SOG. And there's like a thousand like, shots of that. Our first ride was from Los Angeles to Montana and then Los Angeles to New Mexico. And we do these like, you know, 10,000 mile rides. Mm. We go out there for like four or five weeks and it's like real America. And if you're going to go and see America, you've just got to do it on two wheels. Mm. And so that, that's, you know, that's our church. So, you know, we're, and we're artists and actors and singers and writers and producers and just all artists doing our thing. And we have motorcycles in common and we like, like to get out there. So, you know, separate to being a filmmaker and a daddy, Sons of Gratitude, baby. It's motorcycle riding. It's, um, hey, Hashtag Sons of Gratitude. Hashtag Sons of Gratitude. <laughs> that's, that's, that's good. That's going to be the beginning of the interview. Right. That's good. <laughs> Wolverine. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Spidey. Spidey sense. How does he do? Fuck fighter. I knew this was going to be an awesome interview. <laughs> anyway, I think that's about all the time we have. Listen, little shout out to the panel show. Ah. Getting it done. I just heard you got a little thing for um, Drag Star, um, Drag Racing. Season three up at Middleburg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's crazy. I'm crazy. We're all crazy. It's just coffee, in this though. Industry. It's just <laughs> the rest of it's emotional imbalance. I'm not emotionally imbalanced. Talk about me. It's yourself. chemical. Yeah, it's chemical. <sighs> Coffee, means and chemicals. Thanks for tuning in, guys. <laughs> See you easy. next time. <laughs> uh...